Welcome back, Coins and Wells. We're gonna be doing a 60-10 overhead whipping technique. It looks just like how it does in the flat position. If you haven't already, check out that video. Also, don't forget to hit that like, smash that subscribe, comment a fire emoji in down below. Come back, pause, whip out, come back, pause, whip out, come back, pause for a second, whip out, come back, pause for a second. Whip out enough to let it cool, uh, give enough chance for the photo to cool. They come out, come back, pause. You were about come back, pause. You were about come back, pause. You were about come back. It's very important for you to keep a rhythm. Without come back, pause. Without come back, pause. Without come back, pause. And it's very important for you to keep in mind your puddle, your speed, your stick out. You want it nice and snugged in there, no more than a one eighth of an inch stick out. Try to control the puddle, manipulate it. As you can see here, I'm trying to drag it slowly back and forth, and I pause back and forth, and I try to pause back and forth, and I pause. Even if you need guidelines, don't be afraid to draw you some lines, scribe them, grab a grinder and make some lines with just a regular disc blade, but keep that practice going. Don't give up, keep practicing. Notice how there's a lot of splat coming. Yes, wear your thick sleeves, wear good uh, gloves, or do what I do. I kind of stay away from right under the puddle or right under the workpiece directly. Nevertheless, though, I know what I'm seeing. I make sure my helmet's clean. I make sure that I have a good visual. I keep whipping out. I keep coming back to pause. I whip out, come back, pause. Keep in mind your breath, keep in mind your technique, your rhythm. Okay, it's very important to chip away and uh, wire wheel or wire brush, all this excess slack so you can see your weld. Stick around to the end so you can see the final product. This is just a different angle with my camera. Tell me what you like, what angles do you guys like? You guys like more from inside the hood, from outside? Let me know on the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like, smash the subscribe. You comment two fire emojis, I will do a shout out on my next video. Here's another inside the hood view. I've already got a couple of stringers going on, got some practice. I keep it nice and snug now. Notice how I manipulate the rod getting out and then I come right back in, I pause for a second. I whip out, then I come right back in for a second. I whip out, come right back in for a second. Here I'm paying attention to my stick out. I'm paying attention to my puddle. I'm paying attention to the edges and what my puddle is actually touching. This is what my final product looks like. Stay tuned. You want to learn some more stuff. Coinsy Welds.